Also, sorry if my gum chewing is annoying. I apologize for existing. YOLO! Can we just take in how many unboxings I've done in the past two days? Because th this is all my garbage, and I already threw, like, a lot of it away. Yay for pre-filmed videos! <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay and I'm here with a little unboxing. I'm sorry if the lighting is kind of weird today. It's rainy outside and when I turn my lights on it makes the whole room yellowish. So we're just gonna go with this and hope that it works for you guys. I don't know, we'll see. Sorry. I have a total of four packages to unbox for you guys. So without further ado, let us get started. The first package is like super small. And it's from Kevin Scott Olson who I've talked about his books before. The book is Breakout by Kevin Scott Olson, and it is a Michael Quinn novel, which I read previously. This one, which is Roseblood, I'll leave my wrap-up down below so you guys can check out what I thought of this book. But it is basically another one of his short stories regarding this man, ex-Navy Steel, named Michael Quinn. But in his letter that he sent, it says that Coming This Fall is going to be his first Michael Quinn novel, which is really exciting because I wrote in my review that it would be super cool if he wrote a full-length novel based off of this guy. So now he is, so I'm kind of excited to read this. It's only 35 pages, so it'll be super easy to get through. I'll probably read it, like, tonight, to be honest. The next package is from... Where are you from? North Charleston, SC, South Carolina? Is that SC? I'm gonna go with South Carolina. See, I'm learning my state, guys. We're doing good. The book is Last Night at the Vista Cafe by Jim Steinberg. Not 100% sure what it's about, to be honest. The back doesn't really give me anything other than saying it's a bunch of sh his short stories. But it doesn't really say what any of them are about. Like, a general theme. I think they're all just different. Going into the book blind, which always makes it better, so we're, we're totally okay with it. Whatever. Whatever. The next package is from Bloor Street. That's like Toronto, which is like literally right beside me. Now y'all know where I live. Please stop me. The book is This Is Your Life, Harriet Chance by Jonathan E. Vision, and it is about a woman named Harriet whose husband has been in the grave for two years, and she goes on an Alaskan cruise and discovers that she may have been living the past 60 years of her life in false pretense, and that's all it really says on the back. Kind of intrigued to know what this is about. It's kind of cool. Seems like it could be interesting. It says that it's supposed to be pretty funny, so I'm kind of excited to pick it up because I love funny books. So I will let you guys know what I think of it in my wrap up. And the final package, I know exactly what it is. It is from an author named Jeremy Hayes. And he contacted me and asked me if I wanted to read a couple of his books. So I was like, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, I do. They're fantasy books. So I'm actually really excited because I don't really have a lot of fantasy books. So I'm kind of excited to actually pick some up. Now I just have to figure out how to get into the box without breaking anything. Which is always the most difficult part for me. First three books are part of his trilogy, and it's called the Stonewood Trilogy. And it is The Thieves of Stonewood, The Demon of Stonewood, and The King of Stonewood. I'm only going to give you the synopsis for the first book because I don't really want to spoil myself on the second two. Also, I don't want to spoil you guys if you decide to pick up the book. The book follows a thief named Harcourt who, in order to help the love of his life, Jelena, he needs to gain membership into this guild. But the only way he can get into the guild is to acquire a ginormous amount of gold, which is very hard for a thief without a home to do. And basically he's thinking that he's never going to get into this guild, and yada yada yada, life is rough. But then something happens and it could possibly change his life forever. So it's really interesting, like it sounds really good and I really want to read it now. Because it actually sounds like it could be super cool. I don't know exactly what this event is, but I want to know, and I want to know if he helped Jelena. And the fact that there's two other books means that he probably, you know, did help Jelena, but I want to know. What is it about now? I want to know. The next novel that he sent me is actually a middle grade novel, and it is The Goblin Squad, and it is about this town called Reflection Falls, and they have a problem, goblins, who come down from the mountains and steal their vegetables, and basically the knights of the realm are too busy with real threats, so they send children at the age of 10 or older to participate in this yearly contest in order to become the squad, the goblin squad, who fights these goblins. But a group of new recruits discover that the goblins may be up to a little bit more than just stealing vegetables. This is a super short book, so I should be able to get through it pretty quickly. I'll let you guys know what I think of it in my wrap-up. final book he sent me is Tales Most Strange, and it is a bunch of strange short stories put together about monsters and things like that. 
and I'm actually really excited. There's 24 stories in here. I really like the design of this. It like looks like an old, old, old book. That's really cool. I like it. It says, from haunted houses to the planet Mars, these short stories will have something for everyone. So, I'm sure I'll like at least one of them. We'll see. We'll see. Alright guys, so that was all the books I received. There's actually so many this time. Not just four. I want to say thank you to Jeremy again for sending me five of his books. That was super awesome and super kind of you. And I'm really excited to get into them. I will let you, everybody know what I think of them in my wrap up. I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye. What is this about? What is this about? I don't know. I don't know. What is this about? Evasion. 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 Evasion.